Hi, my name is Yannick Smith, and today I'll be explaining how to rent a car. Rule number one when it comes to renting the car you see behind me. Have a zero balance credit card. Pay cash at the end when you return the vehicle so that you can return your credit card to a zero balance. And you can do this experience all over again. Rule number two, have a credit card with a limit of at least $1,000. Many car rental dealers now are charging a $500 deposit. Avoid disappointment and carry a higher balance credit card above $500. Rule number three, remember your PIN code for your credit card as you may be required to enter it at the reservation desk. Rule number four, avoid renting your vehicle through the car rental dealership's website directly. Rule number five, if you are a member of an association, you may be entitled to rental vehicle discounts, which would translate to more savings. Rule number six, return the vehicle at the same fuel level which you received it at. So whether you had it at a quarter tank, half a tank, three quarters of a tank, or a full tank, return it with the same amount of fuel as it, you received it. If you fail to do that, you will be charged up to three times what a normal gas pump is charging for the liter. So if you're paying a dollar in change per liter or gallon, you could be charged upwards of three dollars so seriously keep that in mind rule number seven always do a visual inspection of your vehicle before you drive it off the car rental lot rule number seven do a visual inspection of the car all right you can do a visual inspection do a little walk around make sure everything is nice there's no scratches on the roof or anything like that Tire pressures is good, the tires don't look anyways. Do a little walk around and everything looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Although you may have uh, bought the insurance, do your due diligence, play your part, and do the walk around. It may save you in the end. Rule number eight, if you purchase roadside assistance, be sure to enter the number, the 1-800 number that is, that's on the key, key fob, into your phone, just in case. <laughs> you never know what can happen out there. Rule number nine, there may be a deductible in case you are at fault, so no upfront what that deductible is so that there is no surprises. Rule number 10, get acquainted with your vehicle. Here's a remote key fob entry. And also, here's that 1-800 number I was speaking about earlier for roadside assistance. Now, this is a push start, so let's see. Put my foot on the brake pedal, and the engine fires up. RPM gauge engages and the vehicle is powered up. Everything is well lit. Check the horn, see if it works. All right, let's check our indicators. Okay, left works, right works. Let's check our high beams. Oh yeah, I see high beams there. Okay, that's great. And uh, let's see um, our instrument panels are oh, nicely lit. How about the air conditioning? Does that work? Or the heating? Let's turn this dial, we'll see what happens. Oh, the temperature goes up, 29 degrees. Okay, Let's see the fan, does it work? Yes, the fan is working. So, let's see, and the steering wheel moves smoothly? Indeed, it does. All right, so that's great. And let's see, does the cabin lighting work? Wow, where is this cabin lighting here? Oh yeah, there it goes, it works. Everything works, that's beautiful. 
windows. All right, one push down and it goes down, no? One push up and it goes up and down. Lovely. All right. The word of the day is caveat emptor. According to the Oxford Languages Dictionary, the definition of caveat emptor is the principle that the buyer alone is responsible for the checking, the quality, and suitability of goods before a purchase is made. Caveat emptor. Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs> Didn't even realize. 